Dame Lillard says NBA and fans are obsessed with rings over everything else. Hmm. I'll start with you, Walt. You know, since you know you had a lot to say. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but we talked about it earlier. What what what's your take on it, man? Does he have a point? Does he not have a point? I don't. Me, I'm I'm kind of leaning both ways, but I'm leaning more towards of like I don't want to say he's trying to play like a victim role, but it just seems like you know he's trying to I don't know give more attention to Portland right now or something. I don't know. But I mean, it's just typical for somebody who doesn't have a championship to say that, you know. And I and I don't. And it's, it's no disrespect to Dame because Dame is a great player. I just feel like his decision making sometimes is just not the greatest, especially trying to stay so loyal to Portland. But that's just me personally. But you know, he pretty much is a legend in Portland. I'm gonna be honest. Like they they love Dame to death out in Portland. So I mean, I guess he, his 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 mindset is completely different because. Dame doesn't want the championships. He just wants everybody's respect. You know what I'm saying? That's what it seemed like. He just wants your respect. So he doesn't care about, you know, all the other stuff, basketball, the money, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Dame, he just cares about his community, and it seemed like his respect. So for a guy like that to say that, I, I'm not mad at that because it's just – it seems like the type of guy that Dame is, you know, just from what I've been seeing over the last years because – Clearly, he don't give a damn about no championships because he's still in Portland. You know what I'm saying? You've been in Portland your whole life. You know what I'm saying? And you tried to add pieces to, you know, get to that championship caliber, but it just seemed like it just never works out. And you had plenty of opportunities to leave, but you wanted to stay. So, um, yeah, I feel like for somebody like Dame, I feel like that's okay for him to say because I really don't think he does care about winning titles, honestly. Because if he did, he wouldn't be in Portland. So, for him to say that, that's fine with me. I, I can care less. But if somebody else was saying that, like, I don't know, like uh, LeBron or I don't know, somebody, you know what I'm saying? It'd be kind of a different story, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, for Dane, it, I think it's okay, you know, honestly, because, you know, he he looks more deep into, you know, than just basketball, you know what I'm saying? He just he just cares about his respect and loyalty. So I'm okay with it, with Dame, with Dame saying that. John, go ahead, my brother. I actually think the exact opposite of you. I think Dame, by saying it, and I'm not saying you're right or wrong, I'm just saying but the way people will view it. Like, by him saying it, it's him making an excuse for why he doesn't have rings. That's how they'll view it. Like, they'll be like, oh, of course you're okay with not having rings because you ain't got none. Like, you know, you ain't, whatever. Whereas you almost do need someone like LeBron to say, listen, it's more about the journey than – than you know than, than winning the ring right for, for every player not i'm not saying for lebron but i'm saying you need someone like lebron to say for every player it's not about winning the ring and that way some you have someone else you know because if you if you always hype in yourself you know it, it only goes so far but if other people hype you or or say you know defend you it goes a lot further and so i i agree with what you're saying but the way people are going to view it i think you need the exact opposite i think you need someone to say you know, for every because you you have this where like certain players they will win a ring and never get talked about because they're not great players, right? Like you know, well, I'm not gonna say names, but like you know, role, certain role players win games and no I one. Got, got one Super Bowl. I mean, not Super Bowl. Ring three times in a year with three different teams. What's his name again? Uh, yeah, I almost said Cameron Payne, but it. Um, but you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Continue. It was, it was with the Warriors and then the Raptors. Yeah. Um, yeah no one's gonna c call him great right and so like the same stigmatism that goes with like dogging players like dame uh westbrook mellow doesn't give credit to the guys who do have rings so so it's like there's this stigmatism like you if you're great you have to have a ring but if you have a ring it also doesn't make you great and so it's like wh where's this line that like you know it, it's so I'll say it's been really tough on like Westbrook because he's a guy who no one ever expected him to do the things he did. And because he came out and did those things, now it's like, well, you're not great because you don't have a ring. It's like, dude, you guys, oh, everybody overlooked me. Stop this nonsense. Like I did a lot of things that no one ever thought I could do. And now because I don't have a ring, nothing I've ever done is great. Knock it off. Like I, I did some really good things. Now, all that to say... As a fan, 
you still got to bring me a ring. I, I'm not saying you have to bring. Me, I'm not saying your career ends, and I'm not gonna be a fan. I'm still a fan of a lot of a lot of my player favorite players. All I'm don't have rings, but you have to be trying and fighting every year for a ring. You can't just be like this is a this is a rebuild year. No, if you're a great player, you're gonna fight for a ring. I don't care if you got Smush Parker as your number two, you fight for that ring. Like if you tiny Archibald and your second best player scores like 10 points a game and you got to lead the league in points and assists, you go do it. You know what I mean? Even though his team was trash. Like, and so I, I, I do want to see that. I, and I see that from Dame. I do. I think he does want to, he does put everything into every game. And so I think that's why it is okay for him to say these things because he's not just slacking, um, you know, but yeah, you, you still got to try though. You can't just be like, it's all about the journey. And it's like, all right, does this mean you're taking the next three years just to milk money out of a Portland? Because, like, I still want to see you fight. And that's all. Like, as long as he keeps fighting, I think we'll be okay with it. But, yeah, if he if he goes quietly into the night and, you know. But but, but I agree with him. It is more about the journey because we just saw, and we'll get into this later, but Andrew Wiggins just won a ring. And now he's going through most of the stuff. You know what I mean? And that's the point is there are other things besides basketball. And, like, you have to keep those in perspective because even though these guys are wealthy, a lot of these guys are not mentally cut out for this. We, we, you know, talk about Ben Simmons. The guy, he likes being rich. He would be a great team owner, you know, one of those guys that you could see on the street and wouldn't know who they are. But being Ben Simmons, the point guard of the 76ers, he's just not cut out for that. And now the Nets, whatever. But I'm just saying – He's not cut out for that mentally. The the criticism he gets on the street every time he misses a layup. The, the like some guys aren't cut out for that. And so I that's part of it with Dame. I agree with too. Like it is still basketball. I understand these guys are paid a ridiculous amount of money, but you still have to take in like you know they're just basketball players. They're they're not politicians who signed up for all the criticism. And uh, you know, but no, no, I. Agree. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just gonna say. I mean, I, I I get everything that you're saying, and like I said, with Dame saying everything that he's saying, I'm looking at this. You know, the the Portland's history right here over the last five years. It had 31 wins this year, 27 last year, 42 the year before, 35 and then in 2019, and then 53 wins in 2018 and 19. All they all they've had. I can't even say they had good playoff runs because all their playoffs runs is stuff for 2009. They lost in the first round. In 2009, they won. They they lost in the conference finals. So, in my mind, I mean, I can't say Dame is he he's he hasn't been able to get the job done himself. So that's what I'm no. saying. Like for him to you know say like, hey, I don't like the way that where the NBA is going. You know, everybody's trying to create a super team, but I mean, at the end of the day the NBA is going to always continue to change. You know what I'm saying? Regardless from if you want to call them super team or not, you know what I'm saying? Today's game, you you need at least two to three plus stars on your team. And Dane doesn't have that. It's just Dane. You feel me? So, I mean, I just feel like going to what John said, Dane is not maybe able, he hasn't been able to adapt to the NBA. It's NBA's changes. So he's just so, he's like that grandpa of like that old school joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to stick to this because it's been working. You know what I'm saying? But in our eyes, we see that it's not really working, but in his eyes, it's working. You feel me? But it's working for him. I mean, yeah. he's, he's filthy rich. He is, and that's why I say, I, and that's why I was saying earlier, like I just feel like he's more. It seems like he just cares more about the respect and loyalty. But I, and that's why I say I can't really have sympathy for him either, because it's like, bro, you over the last years that you've been in uh, Portland, I mean, you haven't been able to gun it, haven't been able to get it done, and in your playoffs, you've been having all first round first round exits so maybe it is time for a change man like seriously yeah. like i'm curious why portland i i do think some of the heat is on portland itself like why did they not you i don't know what you know and and maybe you can only, you can only trade so many things away but i mean i don't feel like they got much back for cj mccollum you know and, and so i i just think that they have not made the right trades they've not got him the right pieces so it's not all on him however you can't also take forty million from the people and then not expect a little criticism. You know what I mean? Like they love Dame in Portland, but also you're gonna get some criticism, and you got to be okay with that when you're taking forty million a year from them. Yeah, but I do. I mean, 
Maybe Dame is gonna be this this generation's Charles Barkley. You know, may, maybe you know. I mean, every generation. I would say Barry Sanders. Huh? I would say Barry Sanders because at least Charles made it made it to the championship. We got to think. Dame had that one year where they made it to the conference finals, but yeah, was, you ran it to Golden State. I mean, you know, I think thing is too. Everybody's not destined to win. It's just one of them things. Everybody ain't destined to win. I like that. Right. I like that. You no, know, I mean, look. Now you know, unless he hits an epiphany stage within the next year or two, and you know, does like Kevin Garnett and get traded to a franchise to where they can win. That's you know, that's just what it is. You know?